Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys the Walmart Verse Target $100 challenge. One of you guys actually suggested to do this video and I thought it was such a fun idea. So I did pick up two different full outfits from both Walmart and Target. I spent around $100 and I thought it would be fun to share with you guys what I put together at both retailers. So my idea going into this was to pick outfits very similar to each other so that we could easily kind of um, um, compare and contrast them or kind of rate them. I'm going to let you guys know towards the end of the video what which outfit was my favorite or which pieces were my favorite and I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what your favorite was as well. I am going to rate these items based on quality, style, and price. Um, I'm going to let you guys know of course exactly how much I spent on each of these items as we go through. I will have everything linked down below for you guys as well and I know I just recently did a try on at Target, but if you guys are interested in seeing a full dedicated Walmart haul or like an inside the dressing room, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do that for you guys. Uh, but I do have so much fun stuff to share with you guys today, so I'm going to keep this intro short. So if you guys are interested in seeing this Walmart vs. Target $100 challenge, then please keep watching. So going into Target, I will say it was a little bit of a challenge at first because a lot of the pieces that they did have to offer, I have shared with you guys previously on my most recent try on from them that I didn't want to try them on again for you guys and then I also really had no idea the direction I wanted to go with this outfit so I will say like going into Walmart was a little bit easier because I had already an idea of the outfit that I put together at Target but going in at Target I was just like <laughs> what am I going to do? Like, I didn't know if I wanted to do like a dress and a jacket, but I feel like that's so easy that I wanted to avoid that. So I did kind of take myself out of my comfort zone. I did put together a pair of shorts actually in a top, and then I have a few accessories to go with it as well. Let's get started first with the top. The top I have is from the brand A New Day. I did share this one with you guys in the little try on portion. I thought it was so cute. It was so hard for me to pass it up and it cost $22.99. I will have, of course, everything listed down below as well if you guys are interested in checking out any of these items. This top is all kinds of tangled up because I'll be honest, I did already wear it because I like it so much. But this is what the blouse looks like. You guys know I love leopard print. I thought this one was so, so fun. So it is a V-neck leopard top. It's, it's very sheer, so do keep that in mind. I plan to wear this with a little bralette underneath, and I think it's going to be so cute and perfect for the summertime because even though it is long sleeve, it is so, so lightweight, and with that little bralette like peeking through, I think that'll be such a cute look. Like I said, long sleeve and then it does have the super cute like bell sleeve with the elastic detail towards the sleeve as well and there's no additional design on it uh, towards the bottom it's just the leopard print I love this top I did already wear it like I said to work actually so it's super versatile you could wear it with a little cami underneath it but my idea for this outfit was definitely more spring to summer and that is why I paired it with a pair of shorts these shorts are from the brand universal thread these are in a size 16 and they cost $16.99 like I thought that was a really good a good price for shorts um, in comparison to a lot of other pieces at Target these are a high-rise midi shorts so this is what they look like as mentioned they are high-waisted they have this super cute button fly in the front you guys know I love that detail so I had to pick these up they do have traditional front and back pockets and then they are rolled towards the bottom just a little bit I think these shorts are so so great they fit really really high-waisted super stretchy and they feel awesome quality and then for shoes I picked up a pair of little sandals these are from the brand shade ensure they're in a size 10 and these cost $12.99 so these are a super basic pair of sandals I think honestly with this outfit you could kind of pick any type of shoe but I just wanted something super basic to go with the spring to summer vibes um, so these are just a pair of uh, like a brown flip flop but they do go over and then they have this nice like I don't know what you kind of call it like those like ridged 
edges, I guess that's what, that's what I'm gonna call them, but um, this is what they look like, super inexpensive as well. And then the most expensive item that I have to share with you guys today is a bag. So this is more expensive than any of the other pieces that I shared with you guys previously, but honestly, this was like the piece that I felt like I needed to put this outfit together. So I didn't mind splurging, plus I think this is so incredibly cute and I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it throughout this summer. So this is the, this is a, a little backpack, a straw backpack actually, from the brand A New Day, and this cost $34.99. This is what it looks like here. So it is a straw backpack. It does have the black, whoop, it does have the black straps on the back, and then it does open like so. It's like almost like a bucket, um, bucket backpack if that makes sense I think it would be cute to wear like kind of on the shoulder or wear it completely on your back I love a good backpack in the summertime and I do not have a straw one so I knew I had to pick this one up so the last piece I have to share with you guys is a pair of earrings these are from sugar fix which is by Bobo bar and these cost $12.99 these are like a wicker like braided pair of hoop earrings they're in this beautiful red color they do have the gold like closure on the back as well as some gold back here too hopefully you can see that I think these are so so cute and I love the red color with the leopard print I think it's just such a fun detail so I had to pick up something to kind of brighten the look obviously there's lots of black and like neutral tones in this one so I wanted to pick up something to just kind of amp up the look a little bit. So my total for Target actually ended up being $100.95, so I hit 100 right on the dot, but with tax, um, my total then did become 107.01. So for all of these pieces, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So for five items, I did spend $107, which I thought was a good deal. Um, these pieces feel really great quality, very versatile as well. I'll definitely get a lot of use out of them. So that is what you are able to get at least what I was able to find for $100 at Target. I will be honest, going into Walmart, I felt like was a little bit easier than stepping in Target, mostly because I already had an idea of the outfit that I wanted to put together. So I knew going in, I wanted to pick up a pair of shorts and a fun top to match. So that is exactly what I did at Walmart. So the first item I have to share with you guys is a cute little blouse. This is from the brand Time and True. It's in a size large, and this one cost $15.14. No, $15.44. This is what the top looks like here. I love this top. I think it is so, so springy and so cute. So it is short sleeve. It does have the buttons in the center and then it does have a tie at the bottom. It's blue. It's almost like a blue and white stripe or like gray and white stripe. But I don't think it's a true black, but either way, I love the color scheme and this feels awesome quality as well. To go with that super cute top, I did pick up a pair of white shorts. These are actually from Levi's at Walmart. These cost $16.82 and they're in a size of 14. So as mentioned, they are a white pair of jean shorts. They are high-waisted. They do have traditional front and back pockets and these do have a bit of distressing. Like the ones from Target, they are are also cuffed at the edge as well. I think the white color looks really well with the top, but I will say these white shorts aren't personally my absolute favorite. They do have a lot of nice stretch to them, but almost too much where it feels like they're going to lose their shape. Now I need to steam these shorts out a bit because they have a lot of wrinkles on them. So right now they're not looking super great in my lower tummy like crotch area. So I think maybe by steaming them that will help a bit, but definitely Definitely, definitely let me know what you guys think of these shorts in the comments down below. I mean, you can't beat it for the price point. They were only under $17, so I don't, I'm not mad about them, but I will say they're not the most flattering in my personal opinion. With Walmart, because all of the items were so inexpensive, I was actually able to pick up another pair of shorts too. So you guys will have to let me know what pair you like better with the striped top from before in the comments down below. So these are also from the Levi's brand for Walmart. They are another high rise pair of shorts. These are actually in a size 16. 
16 and again they cost 16.82 uh, this is what these look like again high waisted they have traditional front and back pockets and then these do have a bit more distressing these also have a raw hem but you can cuff them as well if you're interested both pairs of shorts are long enough they're not as long as the ones from target in my personal opinion but they're not super short either so i'm okay with the length on them now to pair with the shorts and the top i did pick up another pair of sandals these sandals are also from time and true they're in a size nine and they cost 14.88 this is what they look like here i think they're so 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 cute so they are a like birkenstock look-alike but they are actually like a bluish silver color with the like sparkles all over them they are very very comfortable as well i thought i was a little nervous with all this like glitter and stuff on them that they would be scratchy but they don't have any of the glitter on the inside so it doesn't touch your feet at all and then like target i wanted to pick up another little bag so i did find a straw bag at walmart this one is also from time and true and it cost $16.97 so so cute so this one is a lot larger there's some paper and stuff in here so if you guys hear that but it's a lot larger there are two different straps on here it does open up with the clasp and we do also get some pockets and stuff in here as well so i'm not sure if this bag is meant to be like an everyday bag or more of a beach bag but either way i think it is absolutely adorable i've seen these style bags like the larger straw bags at a lot of retailers and they cost like honestly double or triple the price and i feel like for what was it like 16 dollars, you can't beat it the quality feels really nice and you have a ton of space in here whether you want to carry this as your like everyday bag or if you do want to bring this to the beach or the pool whatever you're feeling i think this is a really good option and then the last piece i have to share with you guys from Walmart is a pair of ear earrings these are also from time and true wow I didn't realize like everything is pretty much from time and true and these cost 288 this is what the earrings look like here so they are a pair of gold like giant circle earrings they have some like kind of like texture to them all around I don't know how well you'll be able to see them here we go they're super cute, dangly. Like I said, they're gold. I thought these earrings were so fun and a pair that I honestly could see myself wearing quite a lot. These earrings are definitely more of my style. I think they would actually look cute with my look that I'm going on today. So I really like these earrings. I couldn't pass them up. For six items, my total at Walmart was actually $88.84. So I was able to put together a full complete outfit with an extra pair of shorts for under $90, which is an awesome, awesome deal. So I was able to get one complete extra item from Walmart compared to Target and I'm still spending less. So in regards to quality, style, and price, my personal opinion, I feel like Target and Walmart are honestly tied in regards to quality. I think the quality on most of the pieces that I shared with you guys today is definitely on par. The shorts, in my opinion, from Universal Thread that are sold at Target were a bit higher quality than the ones from Levi's, which were about the same price. But even though the shorts at Target felt a little bit nicer quality, the thing is Walmart has Target beat on their size inclusivity. Walmart actually all of the shorts that I shared with you guys they carried up to a size 20 or 22 in store which I think is so awesome in comparison to Target honestly trying to find a 14 16 at Target was a little bit of a struggle for me they did have some 18s but I definitely didn't see any 20s available there so going into style I think both stores are have definitely amped up their style in my personal opinion my style is a little bit more on par with Target targets in regards to the fun patterns like the leopard prints the camos and even though walmart does carry some of those pieces i do feel like target does style a little bit better um, i'm not saying i don't like walmart style because i do and i really love this outfit that i put together but for me personally with in regards to style i think target wins in my opinion in regards to price obviously walmart has target beat you guys are able to put together a full outfit plus some for under a hundred dollars at walmart which i think is an awesome deal they have so many fun fun pieces for this upcoming summer spring and summer time that you really can't find at Target for that price point. In regards to who won this $100 challenge, 
I don't have a winner personally. I will say, like I mentioned, Target definitely beat Walmart on a style, but then Walmart definitely beat Target in regards to price. So it's really hard for me to pick a winner. I honestly really, really loved the two outfits that I put together from both retailer. I think they were both super fun and super springy in summary. So I can't pick a winner, but definitely let me know in the comments down below what your favorite outfit was that I shared with you guys today. Let me know what you guys think what retailer you guys think won this challenge and do you guys have a preference do you prefer to shop at walmart or do you prefer to shop at target let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you guys want to see a full dedicated video to walmart i am more than happy to do that for you guys but let me know in the comments down below uh, but i think that's going to do it for today's video so if you guys haven't already please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up check out my instagram i will have it listed in the description box down below i will have all of the items i shared with you guys today including links to to shop and my sizes if you guys are interested i will have all of the items that i tried on in the little try on portion of this video listed down below as well if you guys are interested in checking those out and also let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any video suggestions i always love hearing from you guys so i hope you guys all have a great day and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys